Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I am an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. Make sure to check in the description below where you will find links to anything I talk about on this video, including to where you can find my patterns for you to knit up for yourself where you can join the Watch Barbara Knit Facebook group and how to support me on Patreon. So today I have a pattern tour because I have a brand new shawl pattern that, and you know what I'm gonna say, I'm super excited about. <laughs> I have been working on this one for a while. Um, it has a story. Earlier this summer, I was contacted by Miss Babs wanting to know if I was interested in designing a two color shawl for a pop up event that they were going to have here at the end of September. What it is, is a trunk show at the yarn store in Alexandria, Virginia called Fiber Space. Um, I will have a link in the description below. It is a store that has like a space theme and they have like a rocket ship and it's super cool. And what Babs is doing is they are packing up a huge amount of yarn and going to Alexandria. Alexandria, Virginia, and they're going to be sending up tents outside so you can shop in a socially distanced manner. And the dates on this are September 24th through the 27th from 11 to 5. So it's a pop-up shop and you're going to have so much Miss Babs yarn through the fiber space. And what Babs was doing is doing an exclusive color for the store inspired by the colors of the store's logo and wanted me to design a new pattern using that yarn. And here it is. But for many different reasons, we ended up doing something super fun, which is I designed the shawl in actually two different sizes. It, there are two versions in the same pattern. You get instructions for both. And one is to use two skeins of fingering weight yarn, which is the Yummy 2 ply. And then the other one is to use two skeins of her sport weight yarn called Kira. And what it was is we carry Kira and Yummy 2 Ply, but Kira at a good yarn, and I had been ogling it for quite some time, and I kind of wanted an excuse to knit with it, but also the idea of having this pattern be flexible enough that you can make it in two different sizes using two different yarns, depending on what kind of yarn you like to work with. The other thing was that what we chose to do is use the uh, exclusive colorway is to be a multicolor, a speckle colorway. So I paired it with a solid so that we can have fun with a multicolor yarn. So there are multiple goals going on and this is the result. So this is the one with the custom colorway. Um, the name of this shawl is spirit and opportunity because they're two different shawls but they're kind of the same they're they're twins but fraternal twins because they're different sizes and i wanted to take this opportunity because if you you may not have noticed um i love all things space i love space stuff and i've already designed two shawls inspired by um the Mars Rovers. The first one was called Curiosity and I designed it when the Curiosity Rover landed. And one of my most recent releases was Perseverance, which is the name of the Mars Rover that is getting ready to go this year. And Spirit and Opportunity were the first rovers of the 21st century. So I was like, yay, since it's fiber space and they have space yarn, they have a space theme, I can grab a hold of this to do, to finish out kind of my trio of shawls inspired by the Mars rovers because I find them incredibly in ex the exploration and all that kind of stuff. So because of this, the 
exclusive colorway that is for fiber space that to start off with you can only get at this pop-up shop is called Pathfinder. And Pathfinder was the proof of concept Mars thing, let's see if we can land on Mars and set up a base for these rovers to operate from. So the name of this color is Pathfinder, and it is the one that you see that is primarily sort of a cream color, and it has speckles of yellows and oranges, because if you look at the Fiber Space logo, it's this kind of aqua, aqua teal planet um, with a orangey yellowy red spaceship it's very cool and so that's why she paired it the second color is called relaxation which is the blue which is one of miss babs myriad of colors so pairing those together gave us the colors for the fiber space and I'm just looking at it on my computer screen and I love this shawl so much it I think it's so pretty so what we have, this is a mosaic lace pattern, which means we're doing a little bit of slip stitch color work and a little bit of lace at the same time. Really, the only stitches involved here are knit, purl, slip, yarn over, knit two together. Except for in the edge, you got slip, slip, knit in the shaping. But in the actual pattern itself, it's just knit, purl, knit two together, a slip stitch, and a yarn over. So it really is not that challenging. You can see that it is worked in stripes because you can see the horizontal stripes. How to angle this correctly. Here we go. You can see the horizontal stripes among the vertical stripes. And the idea of these vertical stripes, if you look at the pictures that have come back from the different rovers, one of the shots that I've always been struck by is they take these shots where they reverse their camera and you get a shot of where they came from and you see these parallel tracks going off into the distance and they're the only tracks, marks for as far as you can see. And that always struck me as a wild combination of both incredibly exhilarating because of the exploration, but then weirdly lonely at the same time because it's just the only thing on this planet. So I wanted to evoke that motion of the, of the rover going on the tracks. And then if you look at some of the other pictures, there are areas where the the dirt or sand or whatever it is on the Martian surface looks like it's wavy. It looks like there's been water there or the wind has blown it and there are all these ripples. And I always thought that and the idea that Mars had water at one point in time, you know, it's all just fascinating. So the tracks are interrupted sporadically by these ripples. Now, the ripples are just a feather and fan in stripes and with some texture. Some of, the, some of the rows are in garter and some of the rows aren't. So to keep it interesting, so the way the pattern works is once you've got this texture down, <laughs> you're, you just go to town for a while and then you do some of your waves right about when you're getting bored of that texture, that this, this vertical column motif. And you do some waves and you back to your vertical columns in some waves and then you end with waves so this is i guess i'm thinking of it as spirit they're just together so this is oh, look at that look at the drape on it i love it it's a good size shawl this is not this is in this pattern the small shawl but it is by no means a small shawl this is two uh, skeins of fingering weight at um, it's 800 yards total so it's two 400 yard skeins of 100% yummy is 100% wool yeah super wash so there you go so that is the fingering weight one then I not being able to leave well enough alone <laughs> let's swap these out This is the sport weight one. Now, Kira, oh, where's the top and where's the bottom? Kira is one of Miss Bab's um, super skein kind of situations. Each skein of Kira has 560 
yards in it. So doing a shawl with two colors, two full skeins, we're looking at a about 1100 yards. So this is a big old shawl and it's in sport weight. It's on a larger needle. And this is, and I picked out these colors just because I loved them. And let me make sure I have the color names for you. These are Moss and Devoted Idea. Now Moss obviously is the green and Devoted Idea is this speckly pink color it's like peaches with some darker pinks on it and i just loved these two colors i gotta be careful because if you watch some of my older videos if i cover the whole screen with the shawl my webcam goes <laughs> so i gotta avoid that so i'm just trying to show you the colors there we go and there you can see the waves the wave pattern and there you can see the vertical column motif this one is substantially larger i'm going to show you some of the still photographs here so you can see exactly how much bigger this one is but i can also tell you the measurements um the small one the fall so the widest part from neck down at the widest part it's 19 inches and then if it's laid flat and you measure it across the width now it is a big curve so it's measuring across the width it is 51 and a half inches which is not small that is 48 by 131 centimeters the large this one is the fall is 26 and a half inches and if you measure across when it's laid flat and it's curved and you've got the widest point is 68 and a half inches. So it is a good, can I do math? It's a good 17 inches wider and not quite 10 inches, about seven inches deeper. So it is a massive, massive shawl. I mean, look, I can take this and put it behind get my hair out and it comes around and look how much and I've still got all this over here and there's all this over here it is really a cuddle up it has so much fabric you can play with it however you want um, I advise you not try to style it while you're sitting in a chair because <laughs> it really doesn't work but again it has the same the difference between the two shawls is the fingering weight is knit on a five and the large is knit on a six so it's a slightly because it's fingering to sport it's a slightly larger needle the gauge actually the stitch gauges are the same but the sport has a longer has a different row gauge so you'll need to swatch if you want to <laughs> and what it is is the instructions are this is this this whoop <laughs> This first section is X number of repeats of the vertical, and then you get 124 repeat of the waves. And then X number of repeats of the vertical separating the two, another wave, and then X number of repeats, and then waves at the bottom. The differences between the shawls is the number of times you repeat the vertical section. So it's really not a whole lot of difference in the actual knitting. This one just has a lot more yards and it's gonna take longer, but oh, I really, really think it's worth it. Now, the yarns themselves are different. This, the Yummy is a beautiful fingering weight yarn. You've probably knit with it before. It's got a nice ply. This one, the Kira, has a different yarn structure. It's a bouncier yarn. It has a tighter um, ply and it's it's rounder and it's giving it gives a little bit different, more stitch definition, as you can see. Now, another thing, and I mentioned this in the pattern, um, I blocked this one very aggressively to get the lace because I really wanted to emphasize the lace. When you're knitting it, you'll find that this vertical column creates a really interesting texture. It 
almost has an almost ribbed effect. And so if you really like that, you don't have to block it as aggressively. It can be smaller uh, and still be beautiful. So you can see this one has been blocked a little less aggressively and you get more of the texture and there's almost a 3D effect between the two vertical stripes. Whereas if you look here, you can see the lace. You can see that there is lace between those two stripes and it's just a little more visible. It's your own personal preference. The only thing it's going to affect is the size. And as I said, neither of these are small shawls. So we're gonna stick her back up here. And I mean, really, so there we go. This is how much I've got over here. I can bring it up and around. And then I still have enough over here on this other side, I'm like sitting on it to bring it up and around. Look, look how much we've got. So, and there's, it's dangling here so, so much shawl. And then I'm gonna take this one and just drape it on there too. <laughs> so they're both there and you can see them. Ooh, focus. Excellent. So that is spirit and opportunity. Um, let me see if there's anything else. The pattern is entirely written out and it has charts. You can work it entirely from written or you can use the charts if that's what you prefer. It works either way. You don't have to be able to read charts to do it. Um, they're fun. <laughs> I advise you, I tell you, on the first page of the instructions it says, for best results, read through entire pattern before beginning. And I really can't stress that enough. Make sure you've read through the whole thing and you understand what uh, the structure is, how the sections repeat. And so you know what you're getting into um, before, why is it doing that one wrinkle? Stop it. <laughs> before you really dive into it. Now, okay, so again, the the pop-up tent event is september 24th and i dropped my note it is thursday through sunday so that is the 24th through the 27th from 11 to 5 it's outdoors so you can socially distance at the fiber space and it is in alexandria virginia the patterns is available right now. There will be links in the description below of where you can get the pattern. If you prefer to buy direct from me, there is a link to the PayHip store, which is just directly through me. Eventually it will be linked on my website and I will have a link there, but right now I am still figuring out how to update my brand new website. There's also a Ravelry link where it is available through Ravelry. And if you use Knit Companion, it is going to be available today on Knit Companion, which is awesome. It's a great program that if you knit directly from a tablet or a device that you can keep track of rows and do put in stitch markers and it is really, really super cool. So make sure if you are a knit companion person to check that out or if you're just a tablet person or a phone person and you haven't heard of knit companion, check it out. So those are the three locations. The pattern will be available. Um, the only thing that is exclusive is the colorway the uh, Pathfinder colorway, which you have to go there that weekend. I am getting ready to mail this to the fiber space so it can be there. If you are able to go say hi to my shawl, say hi shawl. I didn't actually knit this one, wanna be up front. I knit the big one and a lovely, lovely knitter at Miss Babs knit the fingering weight one so we could make sure that both of them worked and we had one of each version to photograph. If you want to visit the big one, the big one is going to be at a good yarn. I will take it in and we will have fun with it there picking out colors of Kira or Yummy for people to do it. So that is Spirit and Opportunity, the final of my trio of 
Mars Rover inspired shawls. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, click that like button. And if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe to my channel and select notifications. Thank you so much.